Hi, grade four. How are you? Today we will continue talking about divisibility part two. Complete. Thirty-five divided by six equal. We know thirty-five is not in times table six. So find a nearest number to thirty-five in times table six. You will find thirty. Five times six equal thirty. So you will put the quotient is five. Five times six equal thirty. Thirty-five minus thirty equal five. So the remainder is five. A number is divisible by two. If its unit digit is zero, two, four, six, eight, you can also write if its unit digit is even number. A number is divisible by five. If its unit digit is zero or five. Thirty four divided by three. We know thirty four is not in times table three. So try to find the nearest number to thirty four in times table three. You will find thirty three. Thirty-three divided by three equal eleven. So the quotient is eleven. Eleven times three equals thirty-three, but we have thirty-four. So thirty-four minus thirty-three equal one. The quotient is eleven. The remainder is one. Then thirty-four is. Not divisible by three because there are remainder is one. We know before the number is divisible when the remainder is zero. But in this problem, the remainder is one, so thirty-four is not divisible by three. Circle the numbers that are divisible by three. Thirty-three. Thirty-three is in times table three. We can divide thirty-three divided by three equal eleven. There is no remainder. The remainder is zero. So thirty-three is. Divisible by three. One thousand two hundred fifty-six. To determine this number is divisible by three or not, remember the rule. The rule is sum of its digits of the number can be. Divided by three, like that. One plus two plus five plus six equal fourteen. We know fourteen is not in times table three, so fourteen is not divisible by three. Seventy-three thousands four hundred. Ten. To determine this number is divisible by three or not, do the rule. Please add the digits of the number. Seven plus three equal ten. 
plus 4 equal 14 plus 1 15 plus 0 15 15 divided by 3 so the answer will be 5 so this number is divisible by 3 take care we add digits of the number to determine this number is divisible or not 5 is not the quotient of 73,410 divided by 3 take care 5 is not the quotient of 73,410 divided by 3 this step only to determine this number this is large number determine it is divisible by 3 or not when we add the digits of the number the sum of these digits is divisible by 3 so the whole number is divided by 3 one thousand two hundred seventy eight to determine this number is divisible by three or not please do the rule add digits of the number one plus two equals three plus seven equals ten plus eight equals eighteen eighteen can be divided by three equal six so this number 1278 is divisible by 3 please take care 6 is not the quotient of 1278 write three numbers that are divisible by 2 and 5 we need to determine any three numbers divisible by 2 and 5. Please pay attention with me. Divisible by is the same as multiple of 2 and 5. Are you remember? Again, divisible by means the same as multiple of. We have three numbers can be divisible by 2 and 5. 5 at the same time okay 2 is not in time stable 5 5 is not in time stable 2 there is no relation between 2 and 5 so we need to determine a common number between them to do that we will 2 times 5 equal 10 so we need three numbers divisible by 10 in the other meaning we want to write three numbers are multiples of 10 we can write 0 10 20 30 40 50 Please take care. 10 is a common multiple for 2 and 5. So, when I have multiple of 10, these multiples are also multiples of 2 and also multiples of 5. Okay? You can choose any three numbers of these numbers okay write three numbers that are divisible by three and five divisible by means multiples of okay we know divisible by is the same as multiple of three is not in time stable five 5 is not in time stable 3. There is no relation between 3 and 5. 
we need to find a common number for the two numbers 3 and 5. To find this number, we will multiply 3 times 5 equal 15. 15 is a multiple of 3 and 5. To have a multiple of 3 and 5 at the same time, we need to write the multiples of 15. Multiples of 15 are 0, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and so on. Pay attention on each time we jump by 15. Please choose any three numbers and write them. Write three numbers that are divisible by 2, 3, and 5. There are three numbers, 2, 3, 5. We want to write three numbers divisible by the three numbers at the same time. Okay? Divisible means multiples of. 2 is not in time table 3 is not in time table 5. 3 is not in time table 2 is not in time table 5. 5 is not in time table 2 is not in time table 3. There is no relation between 2, 3, 5. So we need to find a number is multiple for the three numbers together. So we will multiply 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 5 equal 10 times 3 equal 30. The common number is 30. Now we will write down multiples of 30. Multiples of 30 is multiples for 2 and 3 and 5 on the same time. 0, 30, 60, 90, 120 and so on. In each time, we are jumped by 30. You can write any three numbers as you want. Good time for you. Goodbye.